Okay, in this question, we're given that cosine 2 theta is equal to 1 third, and we know that the angle theta is in the first quadrant. Well, we're trying to figure out the value for sine theta. Be careful with this. We are not trying to look for theta by itself. We are looking for the value for sine theta, right? And what we can do in this case is that do not take the inverse cosine on both sides, but rather use an identity for cosine of 2 theta. Especially, you know, this is a double angle situation for cosine, right? And we know there are three versions for the double angle formula for the cosine. Which version should we use? Well, we are trying to get sine theta by itself. Let's replace this by one of the identities that has no cosine at all, right? So we know this right here is actually the same as 1 minus 2 times sine squared theta, like this. And this version of the identity doesn't involve any more cosine, right? And this is equal to the one third that we still have on the right hand side, and that's what we have. And now we just have to continue to solve for sine theta from this equation, and will be it, right? So first, we will just go ahead and subtract 1 on both sides, cancel this out, and then we will have negative 2 times sine squared theta, and this is equal to 1 third minus 1. Get the common denominator for this, which is the same as saying 1 third minus 3 over 3, and you will end up with negative 2 over 3, right? And then we have to isolate the sine squared theta first before I can isolate the sine theta, right? So you see this is negative 2 times the sine squared theta. That means I should go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 over negative 2. So let me just put it down like this. So I'll multiply this by negative 1 over negative 2. Let me just put it down like that. And the reason is because this and that will cancel, and then we'll just end up with sine squared theta. And let me put down the right-hand side for you guys first. Uh, this and that will cancel, right? That's really nice. And we just have one third, isn't it? I haven't put this down. It's because I want to put this down like this. Instead of saying sine squared theta, let me write this down as sine theta and then square. First of all, they are the same, right? And second of all, when you look at the equation, the form like this. When you have something square, it's equal to a number. How can I get rid of the square? Well, go ahead, take the square root on both sides so that this and now cancel. And remember, you have to make your algebra teacher proud. Be sure you put a plus minus on the right hand side, right? And now we will have two choices, huh? Because we have sine theta is equal to either positive or negative square root of one third, like that. And now the question is, is it the positive version or is the negative version or maybe both? We have to go back to the question. Remember, theta is in the first quadrant, right? So that means if you just draw a picture real quick, this is the first quadrant. So that means whatever the triangle you draw is going to be like this. And sine of that, whatever angle is, I don't know the angle, but I know for sure sine of theta in the first quadrant, this has to be positive, isn't it? In the first quadrant. That means I don't want the negative version. That's pretty much it. Sine theta is equal to positive square root of 1 third inside. And you know this is the same as saying square root of 1 on the top, which is just 1, over square root of 3 on the bottom. Like this, right? At the end, be sure to rationalize the denominator. So let's go ahead and multiply the bottom by square root of 3, the top by square root of 3. So on the top, you have square root of 3 over the bottom this times that is just a regular 3. And this is it. Final answer, square root of 3 over 3. And